Hey everyone, it's Tara at the Painted Cicada. Welcome, welcome. Um, I have reached 10,000 subscribers and my goal when I did that was to create a special free lesson. Um, both, uh, I have a free lesson available uh, to the public on my page, but I also wanted to do something special for my supporters um, since you guys are, um, what make the magic happen. So um, as a special thank you, I am uh, recording this lesson for you guys. And um, this is something I actually took from a friend of mine, Wendy, who um, is also an artist and she came up with this really fun uh, King Protea uh, flower lesson and I absolutely loved it. And so I have permission to share that with you. And so that's what we are creating today and I'm creating on uh, a wooden uh, square canvas panel but you can create on canvas or paper or anything that you want um, but the first thing that I'm gonna do is paint this black so um, I want a nice black base to get started um, I've just pulled out for this lesson some bright colors i've got cad yellow titanium white uh, quinacridone magenta turquoise blue i've got fluorescent red um, and fluorescent pink i've got light blue permanent and i do think i'm going to pull out some other uh, colors so here's titan green pale um what else could i snag i think I'm going to use green gold, which is one of my favorites. So that's what I've got pulled out. Certainly you can change up any of these colors, uh, but what we're going to do first is just uh, paint our base uh, black. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now this first coat on uh, the wood panel typically uses and absorbs quite a bit of paint um, because wood is naturally absorbent. So uh, if you're going to paint on wood like I am, just keep that in mind. It sucks it up. Once you get that first coat of paint, um, the rest of it goes really smoothly though. Thank you. 
Alright, now I did paint up all the sides. <clears throat> um, so if you are working on a cradle canvas or a wood panel, you want to get your sides as well. So paint this completely black and then let it dry and we'll move on to the next step. so it's less important. I'm grabbing some of that light ultramarine blue, which again, it's way less turquoise than what I'm seeing on camera. But in real life, I see it's got a lot of like a, like a pale, like softened cornflower blue look. colors today. I'm going to some also mixing, but so, but, so this, what am I trying to say? So the insides of these tend to have sort of a silvery look. That's why we're going with very cool kind of neutralized tones. So now I'm grabbing this mix here, which is the quinacridone, the white, and then sort of these three colors here plus the white to lighten it up. Just adding some pieces in, maybe a little bit lighter here. Just a little bit. So it kind of has like a silvery look for lack of a better term. There's a little something extra in the center. A few bits of white just for X, X for accents to accentuate. So I'm thinking the light's gonna be coming kind of from up here as opposed to down low. Let's see what we can do. <gasps> so I'm just working. This is actually a small. I think now I'm going to get a little bit of this quinacridone. And I'm going to mix it with a smidge of black. I'm just going to darken that a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to fill in areas that I have a lot of this black poking through. Um, Lots of layers on this this onion petally part here, and we're going to come through in a little bit and add a lot more color to this. So um, I'm just layering up uh, the petals. I'm going to do um, in a nice bright magenta, and so I really. I'm kind of incorporating some of that color here in the center area. We're going to get rid of a lot of this black. So while we still want bits and pieces to show through, I'm just going to add another layer of the first two colors. So I did um, the Titan Green. I did my light blue and then I did magenta and now I'm going to do more light blue and then more Titan green and just layering. And so these bits and pieces of this onion center are going to overlap and play with each other and um, the center of a pro protea. Proteus flower here is 
very, very layered. Lots of layers, lots of little um, pieces. So I add some more blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Now a little more of that Titan Green. Then uh, for a little shimmer or highlight, I'm going to come in with some white and I'm going to have um, most of my light kind of be up here at the top. So just adding in a few of the white strokes for a nice bright highlight there. All right, now what I'm gonna do um, is add a smidge of color to these uh, petals and just kind of feel them out. So I'm gonna get um, kind of a medium sized round brush. this one. So um, I'm just going to add a smidge of water to my Quinacridone Magenta and um, we are going to just uh, add a first layer, a base coat to our petals. And part of the reason we're doing this is because black is such a strong color that we want to have a little bit of that base. And so when I'm making these petals, these are really just short triangular petals. As you get towards the edge, um, the petals are just going to get a little bit thinner. So we're just setting the stage for these layers. And you can see it's, it's really dark because that black shows through. Um, warm colors, the pigment for warm colors tend to be very transparent. So that's just something we kind of have to work with. really just um, kind of playing with this triangular shape of the petals and 
just planning out this flower here. In this third row, so we've got one, two, three rows of these petals. I'm going to make this third row a little bit smaller because it's going to be um, kind of surrounded with some greenery. Um, the, the King Protea is kind of a, um, a bush flower, so uh, it's got a lot of green. I'm just going to add up here maybe just a few random petals poking through there, through that background. All right, and I am pretty happy. And since this is fairly dark, I will lift this up for you. All right, we're gonna come back through and add a second layer of color to these petals. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, get my Quinacridone Magenta and uh, I'm gonna mix it with my fluorescent pink. And at this point in the game, I'm thinking like equal parts of each will give me a nice mid tone but it will be nice and bright because of that neon that fluorescent all right i actually probably need to just mix a little more All right, so um, the darkest shades are going to be at the bottom of each petal. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. This is going to be our medium shade here. So I'm just gonna add a little touch of this to each and every petal. And as we add more and more layers on these petals, it becomes easier to distinguish each petal. So that first uh, coat was really just to help us um, plan out that those petals, those that shape of the flower, and it it provided a base on that black that we can build upwards. Okay. Um, so that was our medium tone, and then I'm going to add a nice dollop of white to this color, and then a little more of this fluorescent pink. We're really going to lighten this. And this brush has gotten super fat. It is super saturated with this paint. So I'm actually just going to move to a smaller round. Um, and what I'm going to do here is just kind of cap off the tops of the flowers the flower petals
All right, so we've got three layers on here. And I am gonna go back to color number one and layer number one, okay? So now that we've got some of these layers, what I can do is add some of this magenta um, to fill in some of this black area. Um, it's okay for some black to poke through, but we don't want huge spaces of black, right? Because those are gonna be layers of petals. So filling in bits and pieces of that black um, that we didn't get when we did the first coat. And I will lift this up to the camera. I know a lot of this um, might be difficult to see just because of how dark it is. So I'm just adding in a little more magenta around the bases. Um, a little black is okay, but I don't want too much black down there. And again, I will lift this up towards the camera here and just to actually. So all of this down here, anywhere this black is kind of poking through, I'm just adding a little more of that um, underpainting color, that, that magenta. And I don't want to cover all the black because that's our shadow, right? That's, that's the darkest part of the petals, but we want it to have that magenta tone. More magenta than black down there, right? And then, you know, you can um, add a little bit of that magenta pulling up each petal. So we've got um, three tones to each flower petal. We've got the magenta, we've got that medium color that we blended, and then we've got that really light bright pink. So I'm going back in with some of this darker color. And I'm moving quickly because I don't want to overthink this. I just want there to be layers on these petals. And I'm not even using, you know, perfect brush strokes. I'm just kind of tapping and smudging and being smushy and blendy. This is a nice abstract flower. And so. Moving quick. And then I might even blend up a little more of that mid-tone again. This is kind of the fun part of working with these somewhat transparent warm tones as you really can layer them quite a bit and the fluorescents um, that I'm using most fluorescents are actually fairly transparent as well so it just lends to a really easy layered piece So just making sure that each petal um, has three tones. All right, now I'm going to um, make a lighter color. So um, I've got this lightest pink here. I'm gonna go ahead and add quite a bit of white to that. I'm gonna lighten that up substantially. I've got a lot of paint here, so it might take a lot of white to lighten up that color. There we go, yeah. Much lighter. Okay. 
And what I'm going to do with this, I want to get another round here. Um, this one would be good. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, in some of these areas, I'm going to add just a nice, fun lightness uh, on some of these petals. And I'm not doing every petal. But I really just want to add that highlight in there. Um, so if a lot of our lightness is over here, um, maybe some of those are shadowed, but we've just got a few that have some highlights. You can see by adding this lightness, it really accentuates the color. Sometimes adding, you know, that lightness, it makes the darks and the colors really, really pop. So that's what we're going for there. Right, so you don't have to do every one, um, just a few here and there. That makes such a difference. All right, now that we've got um, all those highlights in there, I'm going to add just a few petals down here. A lot of this is going to get hidden by that green, but these would be the baby petals, so that's why they kind of show up a little bit lighter. Um, so I add those bright ones. I'm going to dip right back into that darker neon color and maybe just add a few swoops of that in there. But these prote protea flowers um, are all about layers, layers, and more luscious layers. All right. Um, I'm going to get some white. I'm going to add a smidge of the pink to the white. Just a tint of pink. I mostly want that to be white. That's going to be our, our lightest, lightest color. Um, and then just pinches of white. Use that um, the lightest, the lightest white we just made here, um, and so we've added our highlights. I'm going to come back through with a really thin round, and then just um, on some of these uh, areas, I just want to add a little bit of uh, definition to the petal. So, if there are places you feel like um, the petal is not real clear. You can come back through and just kind of, you know, add in a little bit of that shape. Some of them get a little lost, you know, when we're working quick and abstract. Um, so, with a very, very thin round, I'm just going to help reinforce some of that shape.
So we've added a little definition. All right, now I think um, it's time to make this pop even more. So I'm gonna get my fluorescent red out and uh, fluorescent red has a very orange tone to it. Um, but I love it. I love it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit on my brush and um, I'm gonna add just some pops uh, here and there on these flower petals and so I want to be um, loose with it I'm gonna hold the end of my brush and um, instead of you know painting with the tip of this brush I'm gonna kind of just pat here and there pat some of this color um, on the petals. It doesn't have to be every petal. You can add as much or as, as little of this as you want to. Um, but the fun thing about fluorescence is just adding a little bit of that really just makes it uh, go boom. It makes it explode with color and I love that. Um, so there we've added a pop of that fluorescent. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to come back up here to uh, what we called our onion. And um, I'm going to get my uh, yellow out. This is cad yellow. And I am going to mix a little bit of um, the fluorescent red with my cad yellow. And it's gonna make a nice bright orangey color here. I'm going to add uh, just pinches of this around as well. Again, not overthinking it. Little bits here and there. These are just little pops of highlight, pops of color, a flash in this flower. And I'm going to get my thin round. And I am going to add some of this to my onion. Oops, too much water on there. I'm really bad about not drying off my brushes after I rinse them off. to the onion I'm going to add a little bit of pure fluorescent pink in here as well just 
just random bits. And we're just adding colors, playing with that onion color. pull out my turquoise blue and again I'm just gonna put it on the edge of my brush and then I'm gonna add some of this turquoise blue in the dark shadow areas so um, I'm just kind of tapping it where I see the darker colors, darker tones. Again, more in some areas, less in others. So I've got to add some of this turquoise here in my onion. I call it an onion. It's not an onion. I don't know what's got me caught up on that. All right. I'm fairly satisfied with the flower. Um, I want to move into some greenery. That's what I'm going to do next. All right, so I'm going to grab my green gold. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite colors. I use this all the time. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and I need to darken this a little bit. So I'm going to pull some green gold off to the side and mix it. You know, if you have a, hmm, a darker green, um, you can just pull that out and use it. I'm gonna add a little bit of this turquoise and just the tiniest bit of black and just darken that green up. All right, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start adding just a few petals. Now I'm, you see me mixing color, but really I'm just mixing more of the same. And actually I might just vary it slightly so that I can I'm going to pull some up here um, so every couple petals I'm just mixing a little more um, of another paint color I just want these to be you know, slightly different so that it looks like um, you heard that sneeze. That's my, my little kitty cat. All right, so I'm going to kind of wrap these around there. Okay. So I varied the colors with those grains a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to go into this green gold and this is the pure green gold. I'm going to add, I have a little bit of that Titan green pale. I'm going to add that in there and that's going to lighten it. You're really going to see the gold come out. And then, so I am just going to come through and add a little bit of this in each leaf. Blend that in. All right. All 
I want to let these dry so this is kind of my first layer and a half of these green petals at the bottom gonna let those dry for a bit gonna add a little more detail up on my uh, my crown so let's see I really like how this has turned out um, I think uh, I'm gonna pull a little white out just a pinch and then um, I'm going to use a little more of this light blue and just really kind of add the finishing touches in that crown there. So here's a little bit of that light blue. just want to do a few more white because that white is really gonna show the shape of this crown here all right now down here around this um, these leaves this is still drying a little bit but similar to earlier when I used uh, white to surround um, I'm going to define some of this with the black and that just separates these a little bit We are going to add some layers of color just like we did with those flower petals so the black won't be as crazy. So I'm going to use a medium to large round and then I'm going to put a little bit of this Titan green and then that darker green mixture I had. Let's see, I didn't have very much of that. Let's see what I can come up with. And then uh, just like we did earlier, I'm just going to kind of add some uh, quick highlights in these petals or leaves I guess um, and then I'm gonna add let's see so we've got that light color oh my gosh I mixed this paint today what's the problem all right so we had Titan Titan green, Titan green pale, and then we mix that with uh, that green color we had, and I just messed that up. So let me see if I can recreate that. So I'm trying to get that exact color that I just put on there. All right, close enough. All right, so the color we just put on, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to. A little bit of green gold. Basically just, just a variation. Tapping some of that in there. Again, being real, not specific with where it's going. All 
And then with this last color, um, so I tapped it in. I'm going to get my small brush again. And then going to define those edges and make the tips a little lighter. And then here down at the bottom, we can even, um, just like we did at the top, tap in just a little bit of that. Um, this is the turquoise blue, you know, down where the shadows would be. The magic of this flower is really just adding in lots of color. Lots of color in all these weird places. Splatter here. All right. I'm just wiping a little bit of those chalk marks off. I don't have too many that I can see. All right, we are in the home stretch. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this Titan Green Pale with a little bit of white. Um, and I'm going to paint over a lot of this black background. So Titan Green Pale, white, and then I'm going to get a large flat brush and we're going to cover a lot of this underpainting. And I am going to let some of that black poke through. You can see where the edges are. I'm just making it kind of sloppy. I'm not, you know, I don't want this to be perfect. I'm kind of patting and blending and And I think part of the charm of this is letting those um, black areas pop. Um, so don't feel like you have to 
cover every little bit in detail like this is supposed to be kind of messy and we want to see that black poke through on your larger areas you can get good coverage but it looks a little more whimsical when you've got areas where the black pops um, because that black color really does um, kind of accentuate all of those bright, bright colors that we put in there. And that is it, my friends. That is our King Protea. And um, what I'll do to finish this is after this dries, um, I will just touch up these edges. So um, if there is any of that cream, creamy color that came over the edges, I'll uh, clean that up a bit. Otherwise, I'm happy with how this looks and I'm done. And I hope that you will create this and I can't wait to see how yours turns out. Um, I know each and every one of our flowers will be different since, um, you know, we sketched it in on our own and that is part of the beauty. So, um, don't be afraid to share with me. You can tag me using, um, at Painted Cicada or, uh, you can share with me in the Painted Cicada's Art and Share group. And I can't wait to see. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being a supporter. And thank you so much for helping me uh, finally get to 10,000 followers. Have a great day, everybody.